Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to show you how the Earn Value table can work for you and help you manage your project. So first of all, I'm going to create one task with one resource initially on that task. If I just type in there task A, and just say that this task is going to be a five day duration, five days. Like so, at the moment it hasn't got anybody on there, but if I go to the resource sheet and I allocate Bob, and Bob, let's say, is on £10 an hour, £10 an hour, I go back into the Gantt chart view and assign Bob, so I'll go up to resources, assign Bob, assign Bob, and let's say that's my plan. And now I'm going to save a baseline. And for earn value to work, you need to save a baseline. Otherwise, it's not going to show you anything useful. So on the project tab, set baseline, set baseline, pick the first baseline. In this example, you've got 11 altogether there. Look, first one, OK. And then that has taken a snapshot of what your plan was. Now, if you go and change the table, if I go to view tables and just have a look at the cost table, as soon as you save that baseline, that baseline column basically copied the cost column, come right across like so. Now the earn value table is through tables, so just click out of that a minute, through tables, down to more tables, and then you've got earn value tables, you've got cost indicators and schedule indicators as well, but I'm just going to go for this one and have a quick look at this. When I apply that, at the moment, everything's zero because nothing's been updated now you have to use or you should use the status date if I go back to project and set a status date so this is due to start on Monday the 5th so if I go change the status date first of all to Monday the 5th which is normally what it's on today's date so by the end of that date I should have spent 80 pounds and I haven't so this is a negative if I hover over that it's telling you there the uh, schedule variance is the earned value value scheduled variant shows the difference in cost terms between the current progress and the baseline plan so obviously because we haven't done anything that's um, now not showing correct so that negative is not good now if I add a column just do percentage complete so if this is a five-day task if I set that to 20% 20% that's now exactly as it should be so according to the status state of today I'm okay if I change that status state to Tuesday 6th okay now I've got a schedule variance of minus 80 again if I put that back to Monday you can see the changeover just put that back to Monday the 5th okay so I've spent £80, I haven't got any issues there, but if I push that forward, I should have, that now should be 40% complete and it isn't. So I'll click OK to that, so that's saying minus 80. If I put that to 40, which is what it should be, 40%, that goes back to zero and we've spent 160 quid, which is exactly what we should spend based on the baseline plan. Now the cost variance field, I haven't added any extra costs in, so that's not been changing, but I'm going to do that now. I'm going to go down to the resource sheet and add Bill. He's also on £10 an hour. So this is additional from the baseline, remember. Didn't plan for this. Go back and I'll assign to that task, Bill. So now we've got a double assignment. Close that. So if I change the status state, if we go back to project and put the status state to the 7th. 7th. Okay. Nothing's happened there, but if I change this complete, this is where it'll get the actual spend. If I put that up to 60, you can see that's cost me an extra 80 quid because of that extra person I've added on. So that's basically how you can utilize these earned value tables, but you must use it with 
one, a baseline saved, two, a status state, so you can see what the score on the door is for up to that status state. So this is just a very simplistic overview of earned value. Hopefully it's got you into it and you can see how it can work and help you identify where you're going over budget and therefore mitigate that issue. But thank you for your time on this one. I'll catch you on the next.